uh, uh, tutorial here, one of the basic things we normally do is to basically open file. Now, depending on what meta stocks that you have, some of you may have a version 11, version 10, but the one that you see here is basically, it's a very basic uh, version 7.2. That's the one I've been using and that's the one we actually teach in our courses, foundation course, as well as master the main course. Now, uh, the basic thing about uh, the uh, meta stock in here is the file opening. As you can see, you get this file, click here, file, okay, open, or you can use this file open here. But generally, I can use either both. Open file here, uh, that takes you to the KLSC. Now, very important, let me just backtrack a bit uh, early on, is the sets of data that you have. Now, depending where what you are subscribing and what you're paying for, the basic set that you get from the telequotes are the, just the KLSC, uh, the World Index plus the, the futures. And for others like the Singapore, the uh, Australia, as well as the Hong Kong, you may have to uh, foot out a bit of money that is provided if you're interested to trade and invest in those countries. For, for, for the sake of uh, for investing in trading and learning this market, I suggest all of you stick to the KLSC, which is good. Now, you can see that different folders. Basically, it just says that this is sorted by uh, like the category, uh, industrial products, main board, hotel, finance, and the list goes on to the uh, so-called secondary board or the ACE market. On the, the other one is the KLSC, that's our focus one, is this, which is the entire list from A to Z plus some numbers that we see that free A. Now pay notice in here, two things I want to talk about is the first date and the last date. The last date merely tells you the last updated date if you subscribe to a data provider, an end of day provider like Telecodes, that will tell you uh, it is only updated to the 29th at the time of this recording, which was done on the first week of June. You'll see we have a couple of days in there. All you gotta do is just update the date. But very important is this first date here. You can see the first date here tells you the date that you have. Now remember, Metastock is smart enough that if you click on Upbreak, they would not open uh, the entire so-called uh, 13 years of data. What they do, they actually has an option here that I'll show you right at the top right side of the window. right, And there is what we call the load options. The default that I have, and I believe this is the default that the, the, the computer gives to you, of course, you can also check this at yourself, is you load the number of periods. Now, remember, if it's a daily chart, one period is meaning one trading days. So here you could see load 500 period, and you're only displaying 250 period, meaning, meaning that you, you, you actually have on the background, the chart you have is actually 500 period, which is equivalent to one year is uh, 200 uh, days. So we're talking about two and a half years, but you only display uh, one year and three months. That's kind of thing, okay? Right, and the other one is also important is open template. Now, for those of you who attended our foundation course, you would be given this uh, template that will open the same template every time. In this case, will be a candlestick chart plus the four moving average that we will teach you. Because like it or not, some of your charts that is being given to you is actually has what we call a bar chart or a Kagi chart. So it's going to be a lot of you know differences that you see, but we want to standardize it. So when you open up the chart, you will also see the same thing. So that's why we have this open template. Now, also another thing I want to talk about is how to navigate and how to find your stocks. Okay. Now, to find your stocks, generally, you can go to the right side and do this scrolling here uh, from A to Z. And let's say we are interested in public bank, so you just search for a P, correct, right? But the, if you're like me, not so good with alphabetical, uh, can't differentiate where O, P, and N stands in, then you might want to do is just highlight any of this, just like I'm showing you here, and type P, okay? So P will give you P and O. So public bank, you must know the code in this case will be PB. There you go. So PB takes you the closest uh, symbol in this case is public bank. Now notice uh, that the public bank, the date here is 1987, the first date, and the last date is 2003. We can click on the open, and there you go. That's the chart that you have, right? Now this one, when you, if you do open it, pay notice here on the top left side. This is called chart 2. Now, chart 2 meaning saying this is actually a duplicate copy of the original chart. Now, the original chart are stored as smart chart. That's this definition 
file type name that they use in Metastock is called Smart Chart. Smart Chart means this is the default. It is only one copy. Now, if you say C Chart 2, meaning it is sold as a duplicate. And how do we know the difference? Very simple. You go to File, you go to Save As, and that will tell you where they are. If you can see this is empty, right? That tells you that uh, this chart hasn't has any uh, so-called chart type. The one that I normally do, and I recommend all you to keep it simple, save it as Smart Chart. That's it. And if you see a smart chart, you can type save. How about to click on the save? It will ask you to overwrite you. Is it sure? You click yes. So you can see that, look at the top left-hand side now. The chart tool is gone now. Now this is the public chart. The reason why Metastock allows it is because generally some people want to keep the original as it is. No tampering of it, but just make copies of the chart. One chart tool. You can name it. Look, this is a RSI MACD uh, chart of public bank or another one you can use volume spread analysis call it chart 3 volume spread analysis or chart 4 so you can have many many different kinds of chart if you are a student of chart but I'm interested in making money of in the market so I'll keep it simple and I just save it as smart chart okay to, to close it it's very simple too you just go on to the file click close and that's it that's close. And to reopen it again, you can go on file. You can see public bank has been opened. Now remember in Metastock, uh, the drop down box or file actually has the last recently opened. You can click on this one in here, public bank, another one to uh, Supermax, and that opens up the chart. Okay. Another way to also see what chart you have, you can also go to Windows, go to column. Then they will stack it up side by side. So you, if you're looking at two candidates, what stock to buy, in this case between Supermax and Public Bank, you could use this method. All right, that concludes the, the first part of open file and close file. And I'll see you on the next tutorial. Thank you for listening.